Hey everybody, Dale from Game Hubs here and today we're doing a special unboxing. We are doing the Game Shell. It's a modular handheld console that was funded through Kickstarter. It's made by Clockwork Pie, so let's check this out. Pretty interesting. Alright, so you can see the box. It kind of looks like a pizza box, all uh, red and white. You can see the Clockwork logo back here, the Linux logo. Yes, it's fully modular. It's like a Raspberry Pi or an Arduino basically. All right, so let's uh, let's open this up. All right on the front, you can see Game Shell redefined portable game console. All right, let's see what is inside. Ooh, you know how all these Kickstarter projects they always look nice out of the box. I gotta say, you know. Then we just pull everything out. Okay, what do we have here? Okay. Ooh. Okay, instructions. Put this away. Ah. Uh, Okay, this is nice. Put this on one side as well. Everything is in neat little boxes. Check this out. Wow. Okay, let's we'll get back to these. But basically all the components are in their own boxes. Uh, these ones are labeled one, two, three. So let's arrange that. And that's about it. Alright. Put that to the side, and these are all the components that you get when you open up your game shell. Like I said before, it's a modular portable gaming console, so it's like a like a Game Boy you make yourself. All right, first you got your assembly guidelines, basically how you make it. All right, so you got all these instructions. You gotta you gotta build this yourself, man. <laughs> so assembly required, batteries included. All right, then you got all your parts list. How to build your screen, your main board, your keypad, your battery. All right. So it's easy enough to build. All right. You don't really have to be like a master builder or like an, you know, a mechanic to figure this out. Basically, if you worked on Gundams, you know, and Gunpla, you can do this. All right. See, everything's on this clear plastic. This is just the casing, by the way. We have some stickers right here, so you know you can always decorate it however you want. All right, not only do you make it yourself, you get to decorate it too. All right, so I guess we have five little mini unboxings over here. So let's uh, let's get right into it. Check out box number one. Very nicely they put it. Ooh, attention, electrostatic sensitive device. So yep, main board for that. Alright, there you go. So basically it's a Raspberry Pi. So we all know how that works, right? Yep, so you just gotta put all these components together. Okay, so looking through the instructions again. So what you get here is one of the main pieces for the screen. Alright, and um, all the circuitry for the main board which is what runs the console itself. Basically, this is where all your memory, your RAM, and your processor is all stored right here. So be very careful with this. All right, so the next thing should be the screen. Up oh, again, electromagnetic, be careful. Electrostatic sensitive device. So very careful, pair peel this out. Ooh, okay, all right. Ah, okay, so we get the battery right here. Kind of like a phone battery, right? This is the battery, the slot, the battery slot where you actually put it in. And over here you get a memory card, sand disk, 8 gigabytes. So, all right, right out of the box you get memory. Box number three. Okay, so you're probably wondering how do you fix everything in, right? Is it like a, do you use glue? Do you use like screws and and gears and whatnot. Well, yeah, answers right here. Got all these clips. Uh huh. Ah, so this is where your buttons lay. All your buttons. You gotta put that in later on. Uh, some more buttons. I guess those are. You gotta put those in here. All right. You got your A, B buttons, X, Y. And these are the things. Looks like looks like Lego. Looks like Lego. Doesn't that look like Lego? There's like two studs and like. Yeah, okay. But yeah, basically this is what holds the sides together of the uh, the entire console. So this is the shell of the game shell, I guess. Boss number four. 
Oh, oh this one opens from the side. All right. Oh, my bad. This is the actual shell. So basically, you slot everything through these things. See, it already looks like a Game Boy. Basically, so you got the front panel and the back panel. Put everything in between. Okay. Last but not least, I believe this should be the speaker. Or did we take that out already? Eh, eh, oh, eh. Don't panic. Don't panic. That's what the Linux penguin is telling me. Don't panic. Alright, we've built Gundams before. We can do this. Ah, okay. Oh, it's another casing type thing. Hmm. Ah, okay, so this one has more nodes in case you want to add all the extra Arduino stuff. Like if you have your own Raspberry Pi Arduino, you want to add some more circuitry and maybe like a light board or an extra speaker. This is where you do it. You connect it with the, uh, the main circuit board here. Yeah, those of you that uh, you know play around with these sort of things, you would know how to work this out. Okay, so these are all the components of the game shell. So, you know, you'll see us construct this in a bit. And uh, if you're interested, go check out their official website. Uh, they had a Kickstarter, but it's fully funded. But you can still check it out just to see the gist of what this is, you know? So keep it up to Game Hubs for all things gaming. I'm Dale, and I'll catch you next time.